couple of quick tips on how to uh, change the settings on the Aspire bunk heater. There's a small button over here, a hole over here, you see. Put something into it. As soon as you push it in, you want to press the power button. So I'm going to click it in, click, hold in the power button. Goes into maintenance mode. It'll do a scan of itself. Then it'll ask you if you want to diagnose it. I know mine is clean or whatever, but I'm going to do yes. It'll do a diagnosis. When you get to the, uh, no, no, when the, uh, no actual fault. So now I can press the start button and move to the next screen or I can just let it go and it'll go to the next screen. Erase codes. No, because I don't have any. The next screen is going to be the hours uh, maintenance. If you want, if your maintenance required is coming up, no, after this runtime, clear the hours. Yes, I'm clearing the hours so that my maintenance required doesn't come up, even though current settings, as soon as that comes up, you want to hold the button in and release it. Change settings, yes. Maintenance period, you could do one, five, or two. I'm going 2,000. I could press the button. Under voltage, I want to go more. Instead of 11.4, or I want to go to, for some bizarre reason, 10.8. But no, I'm going to set mine at 11.9. I can press the button, or again, I can just wait for a second, and it'll change. There we go. Next setting is... Runtime. Do I want 10 hours, which is the default, or do I want 18 hours, or... No. I'm going to go 11 hours. I'm going to press the button. If I don't, it'll still go over. There we go. I'm going to go Celsius. And there you have it.